everybody, it's Maggie from This or That, and today we're talking about one of my new favorite products, which just so happens to be luggage. So I'm gonna give you a brand rundown on the new brand I've discovered called Away. What Away creates is this line of smart luggage. And not only is it smart in the sense that it has technology involved, but it's also smart in its design. So I've never had luggage that's actually built the way that it is. So I can show it to you, it's sitting right here. And despite how hard I made that seem to pick up, it's not that heavy. So this is the navy blue color. And as you can see, it's just like a big rectangle, looks just like luggage. It has the four wheel design, which I've never had before and was very excited to have. And it also comes with a lock on the top, a little name address thing in case your luggage gets lost. And the coolest feature is actually, if you can see, ugh, a charging port. So this thing holds up to three to four charges for a normal cell phone, which is amazing because if you think about it, everybody is fighting over those outlets in the airport. You know how everybody's rushing over to the gate to get a seat that actually has the little pluggy thing. In the and if you've seen the latest on Facebook, somebody has gone around and put stickers that actually look like outlets so that people are like running to sit by the wall with this outlet that's actually not an outlet and they're filming them. So you will not be caught on candid camera if you end up getting this luggage, which is awesome. To give you some background on the specs of the particular luggage that I have, I have what they refer to as the carry-on and there's actually three other sizes beyond that. So there's the carry-on, which is the smallest, the bigger carry-on, the medium size and the large size. So the small carry-on, what I have, this is meant for like a three to five day trip. It says you can pack four to seven outfits and it'll fit on every plane. The small planes that have the one and two seats or even the bigger planes that have three and three or international or the million other types of planes that you can fly on, this will fit on anything. So you won't have to worry about this fitting in the overhead bin. And also you won't have to worry about the fact that if you do have to check it, if you're one of the last people on the plane because you flew Southwest and you forgot to check into your flight, this is a hard topped luggage. So it's not gonna get destroyed by the airline people throwing your luggage around. And it'll also protect the things that are in it because of that hard top. But another beauty to this is even with the hard top, it's actually very flexible. So on the site, and maybe I can insert this video. I don't know if it'll work. If not, I'll insert a picture, but they actually advertise like a sumo wrestler dancing on it and how nothing's gonna get broken and they show a bowling ball falling on it and it doesn't crack or anything. So it's very tough, sturdy luggage. And with the tough, sturdy luggage comes a pretty steep price tag. However, because it's a smart luggage and it has this battery in it, I truly think that it's a fair price for what it is. So the smallest luggage, the carry-on is gonna run you $225. The largest size is 295. And I know you're thinking, Maggie, why didn't you just get the largest size? Well, first of all, most of my traveling is just weekend travel. So I don't really have a huge need for massive luggage unless I'm going overseas for an extended period of time or something or living out of a suitcase for work for multiple weeks, but I haven't run into that yet with what I do. So um, the small carry-on is perfect for me. Another perk is that this one has the cell phone charger, whereas the large one doesn't. So the large one, you may think that the price difference is so strange because it's so much bigger, but because it doesn't have the smart technology aspect of it, it's not as appealing and it's not as advanced. And so this price is gonna run you a little higher. The bigger carry-on does have the phone charging capabilities and it's a little larger. I think the bigger carry-on says it's meant for a four to seven day trip and can fit six to 10 outfits. And another thing about the bigger carry-on is that it's actually only meant to fly on bigger planes. So if you live in a bigger city and you're flying out of major airports like me flying out of Dallas, this is fine. You won't really have to worry about anything because most of the planes are bigger. The smaller carry-on, like I said, is maybe if you live in a smaller city and you're flying out of those more and you typically like to pack in a carry-on versus the um, versus checking your bag, then I would definitely go with the smaller carry-on. The medium size says that it's gonna last you for a 14 to 18 day trip. That is a really long time. The large guarantees that you can pack a lifetime of clothing in it. So if you 
are suddenly taking a lifetime road trip, then that'll be a great option. But I don't, that's why I didn't get the large one. I'm not trying to pack for a lifetime. I'm just trying to pack for a weekend here. Another great feature about this luggage is the locking system. And a lot of people might be into this these days. I never really lock my luggage, so I haven't used this feature a whole lot. But it's a three code locking system. And the zippers actually come with these little notches in them that fit directly in to a little, a little square piece that holds the two notches and locks them in place. So once you clip your zippers in and scramble the code, the zippers won't move, so they won't come out so nobody can get into your luggage. To undo it, you just enter your three-digit code and you press a button and the zippers pop out and then you're able to get in your luggage. So that's neat if you're somebody who likes to lock your luggage and doesn't want to keep up with those minuscule keys that they give you and expect you to keep up with for a lifetime. It's the strangest thing. The big kicker for me was the four wheel design and I've never had luggage with four wheels before so it might not be that cool or be that like outstandingly smooth gliding but these wheels move like a knife through hot butter or a hot knife through butter. Who heats their knives before they spread butter? It's got to be the hot butter. If you leave butter out on the countertop and put a knife through it, that's how smoothly this goes. And I had my mom like wheel it around the house and stuff and she totally agreed and that's when she was like, Maggie, you have to do a video on this because this is awesome. If you only talk about that, talk about how smoothly it rides. And it does and I was so impressed. It also goes over big crevices. So you know in airports when you're going over escalators and through um, down curbs and stuff. Anyway, so this goes smoothly over everything. And I really, really loved how smoothly it glided, how quiet it was, how easy it was to maneuver through the airport, like A++ on the transportation aspect of this luggage. Loved it. Interestingly enough, I was going through the security in the Atlanta airport and this girl in front of me turns around and was like, hey, she has the away luggage too. And I guess her husband or her fiance or boyfriend, I'm making a lot of assumptions here, whoever she was with that was male, uh, also had this away luggage. So he turns to me and asks like, no way, I've never seen anybody with away luggage before you. How did you decide to get this? And I was like, well, I did a lot of research and I found that this was the best smart luggage choice for the battery space alone. Like this luggage compared to the other top brands in the smart luggage industry takes up the least amount of room and adds the least amount of weight. And I know for heavy packers, that's a huge thing. You want every ounce possible if you're somebody who tends to overpack. And also, the whole point of luggage is to pack things in it, not to charge your phone. Like, you could argue get a portable phone charger if that is your main focus. And so, this company did such a great job designing this because the battery takes up no space. You have no idea it's even in there until you actually need to go charge it. So, I think that's a huge pro. Whereas opposed to the Raiden luggage, it actually has a lot of cool features. So, I can... Um, link their website in the description box below if maybe this appeals more to you but it has a smartphone app associated with it so where the away luggage has four little dots that show you what the battery charge is like the Raiden luggage has a smart app that tells you exactly the percentage full the battery bank is it also has a feature that when you pick it up your phone weighs it somehow and i i cannot tell you about that technology i do not know how it works it was a like that's just really cool so people who get to the airport and realize that they have to unpack things and figure out what to do with it or redistribute their items throughout the family's luggage which we've definitely had to do before um it's a big pain in the butt and you don't want to do it and so that's a really cool feature to know before you hit the airport hey my luggage is not over the weight limit i'm not going to have to pay any extra fees the differences between the luggage sort of stops there it's still a hard top luggage with flexibility um, it has a charging battery pack. It has the extra app feature, but I didn't feel like the price difference between the two was really worth the extra benefits that Raiden offered me. And so that's how I ended up going with Away um, at the end of the day. And so a little tip for you. My parents actually moved and I have to fly home now instead of driving home. So when it came to Christmas time, my brother and I were a little worried. Like We're always like, how are we going to get it back? because everything that we get, we're gonna to have to be able to fit in a suitcase to get home. So when I thought about luggage, I was like, well, A, I always fly Southwest and I get two free check bags, so it's not really that big of a deal. But also it is a whole second piece of luggage that you're traveling with. 
So when I thought about the logistics of getting it home, I started looking into gift card options. And this company has a really awesome gift card option. If maybe you want somebody to pick out their color, like you want to get this luggage for them, but you want them to pick out what color they want or what size they want, easy enough. But the gift card system not only comes a gift card, but it actually comes with a little mini away luggage that's so cute. And it has the hard top design that's flexible just like the real luggage. But what it is, is like a little um, carry-on case. And it came with the price of the, or the exact price of the luggage that I chose because I wanted the smaller carry-on and that's what I asked for. And so it gives you a gift card for the exact amount. So I guess when I said earlier you could allow them to pick the size, that's false. You've got to pick the size ahead of time and they'll give the person the exact price. It's free shipping, so you don't have to worry about that, and no tax. So $225 is how much the carry-on cost, and that's how much the gift card was worth. It also comes with this little card with a little mission statement by the company, but then it also came with this little jet set pack. And what this is is a little travel set of shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and I think lotion a concentrate body balm and it also came with a great pair of socks that i've actually put to use so they're not in here and i forgot to grab them before i sat down to film but what a great perk so for the exact same price as getting the luggage you're also going to get a little mini hard carry-on case shampoo conditioner body wash and lotion and a pair of socks so my best advice to you is I don't care if you're buying the luggage for yourself or not, order the gift set. You'll get some free stuff, some free things to travel with, and I'm all about finding a good deal and free products. So I think that that's a great option, no matter if you're buying for yourself or for your family. And look, it even has little areas to put things that may, you know, be disturbed with turbulence. I just think that this is the coolest thing. And I forgot about it and I didn't use it on my last trip, but I need to remember that. Hopefully you've learned a little bit more about Smart Luggage today and about the Away brand in general. I'll link the Away website below in the description box so maybe you can check it out for yourself. Again, tip, 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 get the gift card and get the free set that comes with it and then order it. I think that mine only took a week to come in once I actually placed the order because I wanted navy blue and around Christmas time when they were really busy, no, they didn't have that color in stock. So it also comes in green, beige, red, pink, white. And the white, if you're super into Star Wars or if somebody in your family is super into Star Wars, the white one has black zipper detailing that really reminds me of a stormtrooper. So if you're going for a themed gift, that could also work. Oh, another really cool thing that this company does is you can buy sets. So instead of just buying one for $225 or $295, depending on the size that you get, you can curate sets and get two pieces of luggage. I think you can mix and match with the carry-on and the bigger carry-on paired with a medium or a large luggage. And the pairings differ in price. I think it ranges anywhere from $450 to $495 or $650. It gets really sort of up there, but it may be cheaper, I haven't played around with it, to actually get the set rather than getting one if you did plan to get two. If you weren't planning to get two and there's no need to get two, then don't get the set. I mean, that personal preference, but that's just another cool feature that Away offers. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in my next video.